Have you noticed that on LinkedIn, people are able to do those carousel type of posts where you can scroll through the different graphics, but maybe you haven't figured out exactly how to do that. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to generate content for those, but then also what format you need to export it and how to get it on your LinkedIn account. Today, we're gonna to be using Canva for this, and we're gonna be using their AI generated tool to generate content for it. So, how do we do this? Simple, we're gonna to go to the top right hand side and we're gonna go and create a document. Now, once we're in a Canva document, we're gonna use their Magic Write AI tool. You may not have known this even existed. Hit the little plus sign here, we're gonna to go to Magic Write and we're just gonna give it a quick prompt for what we want. So, I'm gonna say, write a blog post with five tips on being a better podcast host. Okay, very simple. And I'm going to call it a podcast. I know it's not going to write long form content. It's basically going to be writing me an outline uh, with those five tips. So those are going to be then used for the slides that we want. It takes a few seconds for it to generate, but as you can see here, very simple for this work. So we want to remove now the write a blog post from the heading because this is going to be the opening um, slide in that slider. Um, and you can go ahead and you know adjust any of the content in here. Grammarly is amazing, just picks up a couple things. There we go, perfect. Uh, now, in the top right hand side, we're gonna click convert. We're gonna convert this to a presentation. We're gonna say get started, and then we can choose you know, the different presentations that we have, whether you have um, you know, your brand colors in there, you can go ahead and choose, choose those from this. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just choose one that I like, that I think is very simple. Um, that one there does a little squiggly effect. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the basic one here. So I'm gonna say, create my presentation. You can go ahead and spend more time on design that you would like here, but for the sake of what we're doing, it's gonna create basically a slideshow. Now, this is where you can go through and you know adjust different things uh, that you want. So I'm going to kind of make this a little bigger. We know that these are gonna be a social post um, that are there. So um, we're gonna make it you know, a little easier to read. What I want to do here is you see there is a heading to each one. I'm going to cut that out of there and I'm going to paste it back in. So I'm going to do that for each. Let's just go ahead and do that here. Paste. Make this a little bigger. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump ahead. Um, I'll just do that for each of these slides uh, and then you'll see in just a second, uh, we'll be at the end of this stage. Okay, so now as you can see, I've created these and you can go through and just flip through them and see how they would look. Now I wanna add our brand in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the logo section and I'm gonna go ahead to the first slide and I'm gonna drop in our logo. Okay, we're gonna make that obviously not as prominent as the rest in here. We'll center that, we'll pull this up a little bit like that. Um, and one cool tip is if you copy this to your clipboard and then just go to each and just control V, it'll actually place it in the exact same spot in each of the slides that are there, okay? Now, once we're done with that, what we're gonna do now is we are going to save it. So we are going to rename the name up here and we're gonna go share but we're going to download this now as a PDF, right? So we're gonna use a PDF standard. And all eight pages, we can flatten the PDF. Uh, that'll make it easier for, for the uploading. Um, we won't have to worry about fonts if it's not gonna read it properly. And we're gonna say download. Now it's gonna download a single PDF that is going to have all those different slides in it. Once that is downloaded, that is all you need to go over to LinkedIn and start to upload this content. All right, so we're gonna hop over to LinkedIn and we are going to go ahead and create a post. Now, one thing you'll see here when you go to the post side, you don't see what you want here that you need. You're gonna have to click on start a post and you're gonna go down to the bottom and you're gonna look for document. And we're going to upload that document that we just created here, five tips to be a podcast host. And there it is right there. Now, one thing to um, be aware of is you need to describe it here. So five tips on being a better podcast host. This will be visible um, to the person that is seeing it in the post. So make sure that this is you know as 
clean and accurate as you want it to be. And we're going to hit done. And then it's going to show up just like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and write a preliminary text for this. So what we're going to do and what I would actually recommend that you could actually do is go back to your slide here um, and take this because it did make a summary of what the whole thing was about. So we're going to paste that in there and see what we can look at. So are you looking to become a better podcast host? There are a lot of tips and tricks that you can use to make sure you are offering your audience the best possible experience. Here are five tips of our top tips or here are five of our top tips for being a better podcast host. Um, and just like that, we are able to post it. Now I'm going to go ahead and post this right now. And what you're going to see is now we have that carousel type of post. So it's as simple as that using the power of Canva to leverage the type of content that you need on LinkedIn. Now you can use this uh, PDF anywhere else. Uh, you could actually have exported that to uh, individual JPEG files and use that in Facebook for a post or a uh, multiple image post in LinkedIn or sorry, in uh, Instagram. So you have multiple places that you can use that content, but the magic right tool in Canva is a great way for you to start to generate this type of content.